Okay. Um, another thing you can do to help waterproof these connections is use a bit of shrink wrap. So I've got a piece here and the, the head of these is 21 millimeters. this particular connector. So I've got a piece that's just big enough to, to, to slide over there uh, and then I'm going to push it on and bring it back about to there or so. And this is going to help double up the waterproof connection on the back. And when you connect this to a female connector you can wrap silicon tape around it to, to seal the actual mating surfaces as a double barrier. So we've got a double barrier at the back and then a double barrier in the connection itself. And the self-sealing uh, silicone tape is the best stuff for that. It's not uh, got glue on or anything like that, it just binds to itself and as it heats up and shrinks down um, it sort of becomes uh, all one piece if you like. Uh, but if you need to get it off you just slice it with a knife and it all springs open like a rubber band. So it's uh, fantastic stuff and it's not all gooey and messy. So to uh, get this to adhere down, ideally you'd use a heat gun, a proper heat gun, but I've got a um, hairdryer here which hopefully goes hot enough. If not, I'll actually rub the um, end of the soldering iron against it, the actual shank of the soldering iron to help melt this down. So uh, I'm going to do that. I've done it for the other end already and did a bit of both. So uh, that gives it a nice tough seal, waterproof again. Uh, it's still quite hot actually. Um, and again with this one to, uh, to seal both ends.